Good day, mates, and welcome back to Baldy Man's Diaries. This is me, Mr. Baldy Man. Now, hello, mate. Uh, uh, mate. So, so, talking, speak to my friends. Hello, mate. Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing all right. And um, this video today is about hobbies um, and passions. And, you know, with, with where everyone's at um, isolation at the moment, how come it, you know, what, what can you do and what can't you do? Obviously, you know, your hobby might be a lot of stuff that you do outside. So, obviously, inside is very limited. Um, to what you can do, I mean, for instance, my my hobby's gaming. So obviously, my is staying inside anyway and playing games and not ever going out. So it's not really affecting me that much. <laughs> I'm joking, of course it has. Um, but no, I mean, I love gaming. I love retro, uh, modern, anything like that. I've I have been collecting for uh, years and years, and you know, I love it. It's just like brilliant. And obviously, I love football as well. Um, don't play it so much anymore. I'm getting older. <laughs> I can't take it. But you know, I love I love football, and, and you know, and it's uh, you know, it's been difficult actually. All the football cancelled. I know they have to do it obviously because it's the right thing to do, and it really is. Because obviously, you're putting people. I mean, as you know, only thousands go to these football games, and it's putting them at risk, and it's not you know, and you can play behind the uh, closed doors, but then you still got people playing against other people, and you can't. You know, obviously, you can spread it that way. You play through players. So uh, anyway, I'm boring myself. <laughs> Help me. Um, but yeah, anyway, saying about passions and that, that's kind of my passions, and I love, um, uh, you know, watching videos, oh, sorry, DVDs, um, TV, and things like that. I mean, I love like, my series. I've got favourite comedy series and favourite films, and I've been catching up with quite a lot of them lately, actually, and then watching old films again, I've watched for years. Um, what did I watch the other day? Oh, oh, Iron Eagle. I don't know if people remember Iron Eagle from the 80s, but uh, it's one of my favourite all time films, and got a lot of good memories watching my brother and and I'm a mum for years with it, <laughs> to the point where I had, I, we had it on video and it just went missing. Uh, yeah, it, apparently it broke, but, you know, so mum says anyway. <laughs> I didn't mean it, honestly, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, so yeah, let me know your passions and, and you know, comments and things like that and see what you've been doing and what how you found it difficult and, you know, how you've been struggling with this. And I mean, it's not really easy, obviously, no one's ever had to go through this and now suddenly we have to go through this it's difficult to cope and you know and maybe sometimes even maybe inventing a new hobby or, or venting because obviously you know or, or find a new hobby there's actually you know some some goods coming out of this so you found something else actually that's quite good I can do that now or I couldn't do it before um, you know and put the kind of passion to that and maybe you know maybe new business will come out of this and new ideas and new you know, you know adventures for people and stuff like that so it can't I mean, it might not always be all doom and gloom sometimes it might you know, good always, positive always comes out of bad, even though you don't think about it at the time. It really does. Um, so, yeah, just let me know in the comments. You know, I appreciate everyone commenting and stuff. And a few shout-outs to my friends. I got told off on that saying last time. So I've got a friend called Chris Rock. And um, I don't want to say his real name because I get in trouble. Um, but, yeah, he's, a, he's, like, he's like my brother. And he's an absolute top man. He's funny. He's giving me some ideas, actually, for some characters. <laughs> I think one of them was like Steven Cigar instead of Seagull or you know something like that. Something ridiculous. I haven't worked on it yet. I'm going to work on a new um, uh, thing on it anyway. Uh, see what I can do. <laughs> He's just a funny guy. And my main man. Uh, his name, uh, I was just calling him Gary. That's what his name is. But obviously, um, big man Gary. He knows who he is. Uh, absolute legend. And a uh, really good friend. Like a brother to me. So yeah, that's why I shout him out as well. All to my 12 people. Hello. <laughs> and like I said, all, all the comments as well. I've been getting some really good comments on people and it's really like supportive. And so, I mean, the people that I've got on my channel, the scheme of things is nothing. I mean, 12 people, it's just, but it's, I enjoy doing this as well. And it's, this is kind of, actually, I could suppose I put this down as a new passion actually, because I said, I really, I, I am nervous doing this, as you can tell, and I'm a bit like, you know, I'm, but it's, it's really good. And it's nice to, to be like therapy actually as well. And you can see, I can't, I can't stop moving. Look in the background. Ooh, make, me feel, make me dizzy. Jesus. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. just hope you're really enjoying these at the moment. And I just, you know, I want everyone to keep safe out there at the moment. And, you know, keeping, keeping if you can, to save people. But I know it's difficult. And just also leave politics out of this at the moment. Because I know, I think with Boris Johnson at the moment, he's, he's been, he's up intensive care and he's ill. And whether you like him or you don't, or you conservative or you Labour, it doesn't matter at the moment. What really matters is that he's a human being in the day, and you know, don't want it, you don't want him to die or to be ill just because of politics, it's just ridiculous. And another good thing, hopefully, it comes out at the end that politics will change and 
parties will be different and people will just be different generally general well-being of people and just a bit more time for people now rather than just not and anyway I'm driving on now anyway so I hope you enjoyed this um I'll be doing some more I'm not trying I'm not going to do loads and loads because I want to bore everybody but I'm just trying to do maybe one a day um, but if there's any like if you want me to do a few more a, a couple of days then I will do and give me some ideas of what kind of want me to talk about as well I mean if there's anything that's that's worrying you that might bothering you maybe you need some help um you know I could do baldy man tips you know cleaning and stuff because I've oh yeah, so sometimes lots of bits. I think lots of bleach at the moment. This house and tells you bloody hell, what I'm doing. He's just, that's why my hair fell out. It's too much bleach. It wasn't a sun cut it. That's what it was. I went. To, yeah, that was on the shower. And I was washing. I used washing going, and my hair fell out. Didn't get it anyway. Body man says peace out.